News Channel is one of the most oldest and popular in the media industries. Everyone all over the world wants to know what is going around, and a news channel is the best way to do it. That's why every news channel is very popular all over the world. However, starting or maintaining a news channel is not an easy task. It's a very laborious and costly task. Every news channel has a big team of staff, expensive instruments, and many others. They have to spend a big amount of money to maintain all of this. But you can start a new news channel almost without any cost. Yes. You heard right, I said almost free. And in today's video, I am going to share the step-by-step -step process of making a news channel. So without further ado, let's dive in. Today we will make a news video with the help of AI. And in the first step, we will download a sample news video from Canva. Okay, log in to your Canva account. If you don't have an account, create an account with your email or Google account. You can enjoy 30-day free Canva Pro trial. After creating the account come to the Canva dashboard and select video and then select blank video. Now click on the element section and search for news anchor. Now find a good quality news presenter video. After selecting the video adjust the video size and then download the video on your device. I won't use this video directly. I will generate a model that doesn't exist in the real world. And to generate the model I will use Leonardo AI. After coming to Leonardo AI, select a featured model. I will select Photo Reel as my featured model. After selecting the model enter your prompt. Always use a detail prompt. I will share my prompt in the description you can use this prompt. After generating the images download one image. Alright, now we will swap the face of the videos also. And to do this I will use Google Cold Notebook, which is completely free. I will put the link in the description. After coming to the Google Collab Notebook, click on the directory icon from here. Now upload the video and the image. Before uploading the files you have to rename the files. Because this AI tool doesn't support any space or special character in the file name. After renaming upload the files into Google Collab Notebook. Now come to the code panel and run clone root repo and install dependencies. It will take around 1 minute to complete this step. After completing the install dependencies, come to the second step and hit the run button. It will be completed immediately. Now the final step. We have to make some changes in this step. Go to the notebook directory and click on the three dot menu of your target video file, then select copy path. After that come back to the code panel and select the target file location. Now paste your target file location by pressing Ctrl plus V from your keyboard. After that go to the directory again, copy the source image path, and then paste it onto the source image path. After all is set, hit the cell run button. The process will take some time. Let's fast forward this part. Once the process is completed come to the directory. A new file will be added named swapped. Click on the three dot menu and select download to save the file on your device. Alright, our unique news presenter is ready. Now we have to collect news. To collect the news open a new tab on your browser and open Google News, then open one news link. You can copy the news because news content can be used under fair use policies. But I will suggest to, after researching sometimes writing an article. For tutorial purposes, I am copying a news article. After collecting the news article, we have to generate audio with this article. If you can record your own voice, then it will be great. Because your voice will be unique and you don't have to pay any AI tool to generate a voice. This time I will use Jenny by Levo to generate voice. After coming to the Gini dashboard, click on the new project and then select simple mode, and then hit the create button. After that, copy your news article and paste it into the Gini text box. You can change the voice model by clicking here. I always suggest hearing some voice samples and then selecting the best one. After selecting the voice model, click on the Generate button. MetLife Stadium was the place to be on Monday night until it wasn't. After generating the voice downloaded on your device. Alright, our news presenter and voiceover are ready. Now we will create lip sync with an AI tool. You can use any tool to create the lip sync. But I will use an amazing free AI tool Wave 2 Lip, which works in Google Cobe Notebook. After coming to WAP2 Lip Notebook, connect it with the Collab server, and then come to step number, and hit the Run button to start our job. After completing WAP2 Lip Setup scroll down. 
In the next step, you will find the lip sync YouTube video. We won't create lip sync with any YouTube video, skip this part and scroll down again and find lip sync on your video file. First, you have to upload our sample video file. To do this click on the run button. We have to connect the notebook with our Google Drive. Now click on the choose file from here and upload the video file. After uploading the video file upload the news article voiceover in the same way. Once both video and audio are uploaded successfully come to step number 4 and run the cell. It may take up to 10 minutes to complete the process. Once the process is completed you will find a preview. MetLife Stadium was the place to be on Monday night until it wasn't. In the snap of a finger. The long-anticipated Aaron Rodgers era in New York finally to download the video click on the three dot menu from here and then select download. And our video is now ready. Alright, our news video is ready let's move on to the next step. During the lip sync process, the WAP2 Lip AI decreases the video quality. We can enhance the video quality with a free AI tool service by CapCut. After coming to CapCut, click on the magic tool from here and then select video enhancer. Now upload your video file and then hit the upscale button from here. After some time you can download the enhanced video. Ok, we have to give the finishing touch with a video editor now. I will use CapCut to edit the video because it's free and an online version is also available. Click on create new from here and select the aspect ratio as 169. Now upload the upscaled video footage on CapCut. After uploading the file, delete it from the timeline. Now come to the left tool panel and select media. After coming to the media panel, search for news intro, before the news video I will add a news intro to make it more engaging. Ok, select one news intro footage. If your intro is very long you can speed up to make it short. After that search for a news background footage and insert a news background in the timeline. You may have to adjust the position of the background footage. Now insert the main news footage on the timeline too. If your main footage is longer than the background footage, you can insert background footage multiple times. After adjusting the length of the main footage and the background footage, we have to remove the main footage background. To do this select the main footage and then click on Smart Tool from here. After that turn on the Auto Removal option. Now we have to wait some time to complete the process. Alright, our background has been removed and now it's looking like a professional news video. Now we have to add a news intro music at the starting of the video. And I will use a copyright free music from the YouTube audio library. After coming to the YouTube audio library, search for news. Now download the perfect music for our video. After downloading the music, upload it on CapCut and then insert it in the timeline. Adjust the length if needed. After all is set, export the video. After exporting the video download it on your device. Alright, our news video has been downloaded, let's enjoy the video. MetLife Stadium was the place to be on Monday night until it wasn't. In the snap of a finger. The long-anticipated Aaron Rodgers era in New York finally got underway, and the first season of it ended before the quarterback could even complete a pass. Rodgers suffered a season-ending Achilles injury in the first quarter, turning the game against the visiting Buffalo Bills practically into a funeral. Thankfully for the Jets, that didn't last all night long, as they came away with an improbable overtime victory on a punt return for a touchdown. But certainly the mood in the stands, and very likely the locker room at halftime, was dampened. Garrett Wilson, the APNFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2022, was primed for one of the best receiving seasons in Jets history and had sky-high expectations once the team acquired Rodgers. Alas, those aspirations have now taken a hit. So when Wilson sought out Rodgers in the locker room, what did the quarterback say to him? At halftime, I just went in to check on him in the training room. Just made sure I gave him a hug. Told him I love him. It really hurt my heart. Wilson told ESPN New York Radio. He told me, sorry kid. Just like that. Sorry kid. Wilson and Rogers had built quite the report in the offseason and were being talked about as one of the better QBWR duos in the league. 
My heart hurts for Aaron. Just seeing him last night and the emotion that was going into him getting out there. It sucks, man, said Wilson, adding that he was truly heartbroken. Despite the Jets' Zach Wilson throwing to him instead of Rodgers after the injury, the second-year receiver still showed his insane talent with a late touchdown catch he juggled to himself. How was the news video? Let me know in the comment section. Now you can upload the video on your YouTube news channel. If you have any confusion about creating a YouTube channel or uploading the video on YouTube, you can watch one of my previous news channel videos. You can watch it from the i button. I will put the video link in the description box also. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating a news channel with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!